Hi and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to import stock levels on NetSuite for matrix or lot numbered items. So of course you could do that uh, manually by going to transactions, inventory and adjust inventory. So you do, if you don't have many items, this is the way I would recommend you to do it. It's much faster. But if you have a lot of items, then it's much easier to import the data. To do this, you need the permission to import data. You need to go to Setup, Import, Export, and then click on Import CSV Record. Since I already did this, I'm going to click on Save CSV Import, and I'm going to select the import that I created. Now, uh, the adjustment is a transaction, so the import type must be transactions. The record type is inventory adjustment. Your CSV column delimiter is based on how you saved your Excel document. I'm going to select the file and click on Next. Now here in the advanced options, I want to make sure that if I have custom forms for these inventory adjustment, that I'm selecting the right form. And I want to make sure that for quantities or values that the decimal delimiter is set according to my Excel document. Now let's click on Next. OK, so on your left, you have your column headers from your Excel file. And on your right, you have your tables and fields from NetSuite. OK, so there are three tables. You're going to see the first one is called Inventory Adjustment. This is where you put the adjustment account, the adjustment location, uh, the posting period, the reference number, the subsidiary. Uh, and of course, if it requires approval, you can set who the next approver will be. Now, uh, the second table is the inventory adjustment adjustments. Now you're going to put the quantity details, adjust quantity by, positive, of course, because it's uh, you're just bringing stock in. And then the item, the line reference, the location. And at the bottom, you're going to put the inventory detail. So the expiration date, the quantity, the receipt inventory number, which is the lot number for goods received. And if you're using bins, then you can even reference bins here. So I'm going to zoom in a bit because maybe this is not very clear for you to see. Hopefully now it should be a bit better. So just have a look at the mapping that I did here. Uh, of course, I've, I've hard-coded the period and the date. I've hard-coded the subsidiary. This is if you have a one-world NetSuite instance, if you have multi-subsidiaries on your account. And the location, lot number, and the expiry date to the right locations. Now, once you're ready, you click on Next. Okay, you give that a name, you save and run it, and you're good to go. Once uh, this has been successful, you'll be able to find it by going to Transaction, Inventory, Adjust Inventory List. And of course, you're going to see the GL impact in your balance sheet on your stock and on the PL on this uh, adjustment expense account. Now, what does the Excel document look like? So, first, you have to have a reference number for the transaction. Uh, you have to have a, a single reference here if you're just importing one uh, adjustment. If you're importing two of them, three of them, then of course, each adjustment will have its own reference number with its own line sequencing. You're going to put the item name. This is the matrix item name. And if it's a, if it contains like lot numbers and expiry dates, then of course, if the shirt, the small shirt here has many lot numbers and expiry dates, then I would have many lines for shirt, each with its own lot number and expiry date and each with its quantity. You can have two lot numbers with different expiry dates. That's fine uh, in case you were wondering. And that's pretty much it. It's as easy as this. I hope this video made sense to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.